guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, how are you? Today, I'm so excited to finally reveal this project that I have done. It has literally taken me months to complete, and I do need months. I'm pretty handy, but I'm no professional. It has flaws, but I'm actually proud of what I've done. It's literally been months in the making. But before you see the final outcome, check out the process of what I did to get here. All right, you guys, so the project that I'm about to do, let me close my door because the dryer is very loud. So the project that I'm about to do, I may have bitten off more than I can handle. I don't know, we will see. I think I can do it. I'm pretty handy. You guys seen how I've transformed my kid's bathroom and how I've painted my room and made it just better, more to my liking. So I'm pretty good like that. I hang blinds, <laughs> but this next project that I'm about to do, y'all pray for me because I don't know. So remember how I told you guys a long time ago, I don't like the carpeting in my bedroom and I didn't show you guys this because the carpet is filthy and not that it's not clean, it's just a very old carpet. I'm pretty sure this was the original carpet that was laid when the house was first built. I think it is, it's very thin, it has no, really no cushion underneath and it's very ugly. I even had professional cleaners come out and it seemed like it got some of the stains out but not completely clean like I want it to be. So, you guys, I am going to try to pull up this carpet and lay new flooring. Before you laugh at me, yeah, before you laugh at me, yes, because I know it's funny. Keep in mind that I did my kids' bathroom floor and my kitchen floor, but I didn't have to tear anything up. So I'm going to show you guys the before so you guys can see how this hideous carpet look before and I'm so embarrassed I'm about to show you guys this the stains that are on here will not come out I do not have a clue I don't know let me just show you guys this is horrible I can't believe I'm about to show you guys this all right so this is my bedroom floor pretty nasty and when I say nasty I just mean it's I mean it's clean because I vacuum but it just looks so filthy and I put these area rugs here and I have to wash them quite often because they're white just because I want to bring out the white in my room because it's gray and white. So yeah, look at this carpet and it's very old, very dingy, very brown. <laughs> and then in some areas you can tell where it's not, like no one walks how it looks new, but it's still not as soft over there. It's really not any cushion. And then going into my bathroom area, see all the dirt stains? And this just will not get out, you guys. This is horrible. And look, because no one walks here, it's a little bit cleaner. And yes, I have these area rugs here. And I wash these, you guys, once every couple of weeks. And of course, it gets dirty again. So, and once again, this is to bring out the white in my room. Ignore that, because these are going to get thrown away. I'm not gonna use it anymore. See how filthy this carpet is? Y'all, don't shame me. Look at this. Look how the dirt is. It's just horrible. And you see my vacuum lines. I do keep it clean, but it's just horrible. And see the walkway? This is a walkway to out in the hallway where it's dirty. And you know, you guys, I don't wear my shoes in here. So I don't know how that's so filthy. We don't wear our shoes in here. So I don't know. And then I have another area rug right there. So yeah. So the next time you guys see this floor, hopefully it looks right. I probably bit off more than I can chew. I'm going to start in the bathroom area. Okay, I don't know who in their right mind. To me, this doesn't make any sense. I have a tub there. Who puts carpeting by the tub? Unless it's an area rug. Who puts full on car? I just don't get that. To me, that makes no sense. So I've never liked that, but I'm not gonna not buy the house because it had carpeting there. So yeah, I am going to attempt that, you guys, and I don't know if I'll do any like during. We'll see, but let's go. Okay, you guys, so with this project, I think I was trying to be hopeful 
that they had wood floors underneath here, but no, I pulled up a corner of the carpet and first, as I suspected, the padding is really thin. As you can see, it's very thin. So this is the reason why it felt like I was walking on concrete, <laughs> which is on concrete, you meant whatever the case may be, it's on here. And I'm at a point now where I either abandon ship and forget it and let professionals do it, or I go for it. Because if I go for it, there's no turning around. I'm gonna have to finish what I completed. And of course here, and I researched all of this, you guys. I don't know what they call it, but the wood and then the nails stick up like that. And then the carpet just lays on it. That's how it stays down. So I'm either at a point, like I said, to where I abandon ship, put this back down, and let someone else do it, or I go for it and do the back breaking labor myself. What should I do? Y'all, this is a lot of work. It's definitely going to be done in increments. So I have everything up there, so ignore all the mess. But I have to take that thing, whatever it's called, and put it underneath the board there and lift it up um, to tear that part up but this has literally taken me over an hour just to do this part here and along there I'm so glad the whole floor isn't like that it's only the corners but oh my goodness this is a workout I don't know I think I may have bitten off more than I can handle Whew. but I gotta keep going there's no turning back all right, you guys, so don't mind all this. Y'all know I'm working on these floors. Anyway, did you guys know or realize the amount of dust and dirt that is underneath carpeting? You're probably thinking, yeah, duh. Well, I did too, but not to this extent. So I'll show you what I've done so far. The carpeting is up in here, and I'm not worried about that because I'm gonna lay something over that. But it's all up, and those wood things that was around the edges, those are all up. But I swept and minus the wood, look at how much dust is underneath the carpet. No wonder why people get hardwood floors throughout their house. This is horrible. And so if I would not have researched this, I would have thought, oh my goodness, I'm breaking my house because you see the concrete is broken and that is normal, all the research that I did. And also along the edges where it's chipped like that, that's normal and I knew that was going to happen because that's where nails were drilled in to hold the wood in place. So what I'm going to do is fill that with ready mix concrete patch that I got from Home Depot and it takes 24 hours to dry and then after that I can start cleaning the floor. Oh my goodness you guys, this is a mess. Before I put the flooring on after I patch up the concrete areas I need to sweep this really good which I started but I also need to mop it because it, it has to go over a clean surface all right you guys so that's just a reflection from the window anyway let me get where the lighting is better or try to let me turn on the light in here hold on you guys that really did not help <laughs> so what I ended up doing was everywhere where you see the gray that's the cement that I filled in where I took the nails out and then there was the crack running along here that I sealed and everything takes 24 hours to dry so I'm just going to leave it as is. I've been trying to flatten it out as much as I can because when I lay the floor down I don't want it to be sticking up or anything like that. Once again you guys I am not a professional so if you're looking at this and you know what you're doing and if you're cringing then I'm cringing with you because even though I feel confident in doing it from what I've watched on YouTube I'm still like Ooh, what did I do what did I get myself into so yeah you guys um, hopefully this will turn out right all right you guys this is day two of working on this radio carpet but in reality it's been like two months maybe six weeks because you guys know when I do things I have to do it when I feel the need otherwise it won't turn out right so I'm pulling up the carpet 
and partial of my bedroom. I have the flooring that I'm going to make. So yeah, let's get to work. I cut all this out. See the line there, I cut it. So I'm going to pull it up now and get rid of it. Okay, so I'm doing this in sections. I have the carpet pulled up from here and also that really thin padding that was underneath. You know what I noticed? Cause I was cleaning up a whole lot of dust right here because apparently on the carpet, there's a whole lot of dust, but like right there, there was not a whole lot of dust. And I realized that's because something probably has always been here and over here and it doesn't get walked on. So that's the reason why. And yes, this crack is here and I know, but I'm going to fill it up with, I have like this concrete mix. <laughs> so once I get everything prepared, then I'm gonna put the concrete mix in there. But now for the hard part, the hard part was not even pulling the carpet up or that padding. This is the hard part here. I do have my tools that way I can get this wood and this nail up, but this is so hard and it takes forever to do. So let's get busy with this. All right, everyone. So it's actually been months, literally months since my last video on me doing my bedroom floor. So I have just under my bed left and the area towards the window. Let me show you guys. So there's still carpeting under the bed. I didn't finish this area right here. I got this far. So now I'm going to attempt to move my bed over and we're gonna knock this out. Yeah, this is during the time of the you know what, so we're all at home and I'm just gonna get this out the way. Okay, you guys, this is embarrassing, but it is what it is. All this messy part under here, this was under my bed, the part that I couldn't reach when I vacuumed and it's disgusting. So yeah, all of this is about to be gone. My bed frame is so heavy, you guys. I don't know how I'm, I am going to do this, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. All right, you guys, just a little more left to do and this will be done. I absolutely love this rug. It's my favorite rug. Got it from Amazon and it's so soft and fluffy. Yes, I know my record player doesn't match the rest of my room. I may paint that later. I don't know, we'll see. Another soft and fluffy rug that I got from Amazon. And guys, remember the bench that I told you I was making and painted that I've never showed you? Well, here's its new home. This is where my pillows are going to live 99% of the time because you guys know I do not make my bed unless someone's coming over. But I made it for you guys today. So here's the container that I spray painted white. I just haven't had a chance to make a flower arrangement for it yet. And if you're wondering why there's white furry rugs on the corners right there, well, it's because the wall is shaped really different and I told you guys I'm not a professional, so I really messed up around these corners, so I had to do something with it. And this, you guys, I absolutely love. I got it off of Amazon. It's a macrame wall hanging. And I actually started to dye it white just to pull out more white because it is a cream color. But the more I looked at it, I didn't want to because I thought maybe dyeing it white would make it look too fake. So it's going to stay cream. Here's where the nightmare began. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm happy with the results, but in the beginning, I wasn't so sure. And the 
the other side of the macrame wall hanging. I just love it. some imperfections so don't judge me leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think thank you so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up please consider subscribing before you leave and i will see you guys in the next video bye